and let's see how that works. So uh, first we'll discuss block and unblock account, like we wish to block the account for Mr. John Nike that we just created. This is account number six, and we enter that. The account number six is currently active. Do you wish to block it? I say block account. So let's see what effect does that have on Mr. John's life. I wish to deposit some account, some money into Mr. John's account. Let's lay 200 pounds. It requires the cashier's pin. And the depositor's name is... Uh, Ahmed. It says that your account is currently blocked. Kindly contact branch manager for further information. So this transaction was not successful and uh, the transaction would not be successful in any of the case. So if you have carry out any transaction for a blocked account, it would not happen. So we would like to unblock this account now. Is currently blocked, do you wish to unblock it? Yes, I do. Account opening that we have just discussed. We can change the passwords like my current password is admin that is which is the administrator's password and i wish to change it to administrator the passwords are actually saved on a separate file system mainly to ensure security so that the main workspace is not loaded until a correct password has been provided and the password now has been written to that Excel file. The administrator's password has been currently changed, but I wish to change it again. Oh, sorry. Uh, change password. It automatically recognizes the user. And I wish to change it again from admin and it's being changed the administrator has password has been currently changed similarly you can change the password for the cashier and let's see a couple of things about the bank's charges the bank charges are monthly charges uh, there are monthly charges that bank charges to each of the account the, uh, these are 110 pounds right now which could be changed to any of the value that you could have and let's see how this works i could change it to for example 50 pounds and they have been changed so for any date we change it back again today is sixth the bank charges for this month have already been deducted from accounts and uh, which would which would not deduct again let's see how, how that has proven for account number five is an old account that I had 2011 let's have a last date So as you can see that this account has a transaction, uh, has a balance statement which shows various things. Balance transfer from account number six that we just did today, 20 pounds, that added to the balance. And uh, there would be advanced bank service charges for the month, 110 pounds which were deducted on the 2nd of May. So the system is clever enough that if the bank charges are not deducted on the 1st, it would deduct them on the 2nd, or if they are not deducted on the 2nd, or even on till, until 10th, it would still deduct them. And if you turn on your system twice, for example, on the first date, which is the scheduled date for the deduction of bank charges, it would not deduct more than once. So 110 pounds have already been deducted, and let's say we'll see an example of the profit credited to each of the accounts I'll explain that when we just close the database okay we can adjust the rates there is a minimum balance that is required for you to receive a profit if your balance is less than for example say 100 pounds you would not receive a profit from the bank so this is a minimum limit you could change it on your will and back to the previous minute uh, you can also change the adjust the profit per annum that is being given which is currently five percent but you can change it to any percentage that you like and uh, this is quite about it so let's say what happens when you save ask the mass system to save and exit are you sure you want to save all workspace and exit i say yes the system detects the daily profit has not been paid to the account holders. Do you wish to initiate profit payment sequence now? So I say yes. 
the profit is being paid and the database is being saved all of the information gets saved and you can see summary here and it's gone let's see if the transaction still exists in MATLAB it was closed and the transaction happened about the let's run it again So this time we we'll log in by a simple limited user, which uh, the password for which is user, which you can change at your will. We'll log in as a limited user and see the different in the functionality of the system. A transaction services? No, you don't have access to them because limited users do not need access to that. Limited users do not have access to transaction services. Information services? You do have access. You can access uh, the profiles. Offices in the bank usually have that access. For example, one of my own accounts. This is my profile and shows all of the information, the current balance, everything is being shown here. So a limited user does have access to different services like account. So we should see if Mr. John that we were talking about has actually received the profit for today. Now the starting date is 1, 1, 2011. Let's just make it easy. You could enter any date. There are systems that check if you have entered a correct date, if you enter incorrect date, that would not be uh, acceptable and error will be displayed immediately. Daily profit payment credit that was done at 11.465.2011, which has been 0.03 pounds and the new balance is So the profit has been credited. But this is a simultaneous type of transaction because it was a debit from the treasury and a credit into the account holders account. So let's see how that happened. Account number one, which is the treasury account, and starting date is 1 1 2011. Okay. This is the account statement. The treasury has a long statement. So because it is paying today, just today, it is six today, and it paid to accounts various accounts a profit of 0 0.39 to daily profit paid of 0 0.39 to account number 256 the remaining accounts did not receive a profit because of two reasons the account number 3 for example did not receive a profit let's see why that happened uh, account number 3 now the problem with that is the account number 3 was currently blocked and that is why it did not receive a profit the present balance is the same and it's blocked and it's a current account that uh, that's another issue uh, current accounts never receive a profit let's check about account number four account number four is also blocked you could unblock them but even a savings only the savings account would receive profit even uh, all of the accounts are active the current accounts do not receive a profit So let's see what limited users can do other than this. They can search records, definitely. Operations and management and uh, limited users do not have access to the services. Account opening, they do have access to that. Change passwords. But the limited user can change the password for himself. So it's, uh, he could change to MIT limited. The password has been changed for the limited user himself. But I'll change to back. Let's see if a limited user can change the password for an administrator. You are not authorized to change an administrator password, that's the simple. And for different bank charges, as you would see, limited users cannot access that. Limited users do not have access to this service. And after a user is done, he would select save and exit. But in this case, you would also see that since the profit payment has been made once, it cannot be made more than once on the same day. And the system is closing databases. And it's gone.
I'll run it again just once to see a basic outline of the main program file. Sorry, that's administrator. There is quite a complex data structure that is involved that holds all of the data. The different cells, vectors, the images are loaded here as you can see different cards for different accounts. There are different vectors, different cells that store the image. There are various M files for each of the transaction which seems quite simple but there is a transaction ID that is assigned to each of the transaction and the simultaneous transactions such as debit from one account and credit into another like the, that we have seen in the case of uh, uh, I'll give you an example like the daily profit this, this is the code for that and you would see there are quite a ch a checks being imposed on the program to monitor that nothing goes wrong it cannot be paid more than once to the users and there is a simultaneous debit and a credit sequence so you see here the one the treasury 